Hey coaches, Cody Wilson of the assistant coach, uh, dot net. And today I wanted to talk to you about cover three, uh, the weaknesses, the structure of it, and a couple of the concepts that he, you can use to attack cover three. So first let's start off with the cover, uh, the, uh, structure of it here. I've got a, uh, two by two set drawn up for you already here with cover three. And typically cover three is going to have three guys deep typically a middle free safety in two corners and both of those corners are typically aligned uh, about seven yards off the ball uh, or further outside of the number one receiver turning inward so that they can read other receivers and the quarterback to break on the ball and do route adjustments if if they're doing a cover three pattern match uh, rip liz type of coverage uh, the inherent weaknesses of cover three are, number one, that they're going to be short uh, down the middle of the field. So you can get a um, four vertical concept where you've got four on three, or even more specifically, a uh, two on one in the middle here by getting a receiver into these two areas of space. And also you can attack in the quick game um, in the flats uh, right here. Okay, so... Some of the most common things are to be uh, four verticals or perhaps even uh, the curl flat concept or, or flood or some quick game, things of those nature. But I've already drawn up a few of them for you here. So first uh, is the four verticals. Okay, so they've got three guys deep. You can attack with four verticals first because they've got six guys in the box versus your five blockers. They've got somebody in the short area right here dropping and trying to get out into the uh, hook curl area, even the flats. You can get that two-on-one right here with these two receivers. When you run four verticals versus a cover three look, you're looking to read that middle safety. Now, a lot of people will do uh, what's called a lock or a locked seam with the uh, slot receiver on the right side because we mostly have right-handed quarterbacks. And then they'll make the H receiver what's called the bender, okay? And he'll adjust his route a little bit, but we'll lock on to the Y and try to move the safety with our eyes over here and then throw back door behind him to this slot receiver running the seam as well. Another route concept that is very popular is the flood concept, okay? And this particular flood concept I've adapted uh, and, and I really like it. Uh, I'll attach in the comments uh, in, in the description below. I got it from Joe Moorhead. Uh, I saw a YouTube video on it many years ago, uh, back from before he was at Penn State. I think maybe it was at Albany College or, um, no, not uh, Fordham. Fordham, I believe, in New York uh, when he was up and coming and, and making a lot of yards as offensive coordinator. Uh, in this particular flood route, the the, the concept is that you're going to flood a third of the field, so this portion of the field, not the middle nor this third. You're going to flood this portion of the field, this third of the field, with three receivers. You're, you're going to overrun it with, with uh, routes. You're going to have a deep, uh, intermediate, and a short route all in that one-third of the field. You're trying to overload uh, the corner and the apex defender that you have uh, here, the, the strong safety that I have, you're trying to overrun them with with routes. So this particular one, we've got the outside receiver running on a skinny post, trying to get inside of the corner, but also staying away from the free safety into this open gap of space that we mentioned back here. And then you've got the slot receiver, the middle of the three receivers, uh, running a boast, uh, burst corner. He's going to get inside just a little bit he's going to stem to the inside get upfield and then run that corner and that corner can be thrown flatter so he can break it flatter depending on coverage and also the throw can make him go flatter and then number three our Y receiver is going to run a flat route now you can run it as like a whip an in and out breaking route you can run it as a stutter or like walk off the line and then break it to the flat either way but that's giving you uh, three receivers on two defenders because theoretically this player should not be able to get there and you should run your vertical route the skinny post as to where this free safety cannot make the play in backside i've got a high low read with my back checking down 
in a dig over the top. And we can go into later in more detail about the ways that you can do that, or you can check out Coach uh, Moorhead's version of it. Another way is to work uh, the shallow concept or the drive concept, and really the only difference between shallow and drive is where the receivers are at. If the shallow and the dig both occur on the same side or start on the same side of the formation, that is the drive concept. If the shallow and dig start on opposite sides of the formation, that's the shallow concept. Everything else is essentially the same. So again, here I've got both of my receivers running those skinny posts so that we can get into this vacated space here and get a two-on-one again on that free safety. And then our underneath coverage, we're trying to get uh, to the flats over here with the shallow and again is also a high-low read uh, on, on these linebackers as well. This is really good if paired with play action. Over here we have a naked or a boot action and I'm trying to give you a bunch of different looks here. We've got two by two, we've got three by one, we've got three by one with a tight end. Now we've got the sniffer in the backfield, uh, some 20 personnel action here. Uh, off of the uh, split zone action, we're faking split zone by the, the running back here, the H-back running that split like he's going to block the end, and then he's going to juke and go around him in the flat. We've got, again, that skinny post trying to get in that space, but also trying to get the corner out of the way, and then two crossing routes uh, by backside receivers. And again, we're trying to get into the open space here, and we're flooding the field again just like flood. This is like a weak flood. I've got a deep and intermediate in a flat route that I can work. And then again, uh, at the bottom, I left this one open, we can work the curl flat concept where I'm running the curl here, I'm running the flat here, uh, putting this guy in a bind. If he drops, the flat should be open. If he tries to run with the flat, the curl should be open. And again, there's a lot of other concepts you can run to help with that as well in the quick game that are gonna attack this portion of the field. You can run a uh, vertical route and an out route. Um, you can run uh, double hitches. You can run double slants. You can run slant flat. Uh, a whole lot of things that you can do that can work that. You can even work uh, the smash concept where we have the corner right here and the hitch right here trying to see how disciplined that corner is going to be if he's going to stay uh, deep or if he's going to try to come up on that corner. Uh, so there's a lot of different things you can do, and again, this is just a general overview, understanding the structure and where the weaknesses are, and a couple of the base concepts that you can use to attack it. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, give it a thumbs up, share it if you can, and uh, invite some friends to come like it, and uh, let me know uh, what other things that you'd like to hear about in the comments, or what other concepts you use to attack Cover 3 in the comments below. All right, have a good one. Thanks.